sort of the winners, but they've helped put stars like Garth where they are today. They are studio musicians, and they've played on more number one records than Elvis and the Rolling Stones combined. Channel 4's Jimmy Carter is live at the first ever Musicians Hall of Fame induction. Jimmy, this is the happening of the year here in Nashville. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that you've still got time to come tonight. Let me show you guys that to run into Roger McGuinn of the Bird. Hi. How are you, Roger? I'm doing great. Isn't this kind of cool seeing these people here? Oh, it's incredible. They're my heroes. You know, uh, the wrecking crew played on Mr. Tambourine there, the Bird's first single. That's the only thing they played on, but it was a hit right off the bat, number one. Well, you know, these guys over here, the Funk Brothers, I'm telling you what, when you heard Motown, you heard the Funk Brothers. <laughs> heard them, but you may never have seen them. The Funk Brothers, the basis of the Motown sound. They worked in a room with no windows, a very small place called the Snake Pit, and a studio called Hitsville, USA, Detroit, Michigan. It was a pressure cooker of creativity. They had some words and some notes and maybe an idea. They brought the style and the sound. I'll bring a little bit of guitar to me, Musicians. They back up the stars every day, every night. Musicians, the cream of the crop, that stay in the studio. They invent while others on the road cop. Names like Papacita Benjamin, Hal Blaine, James Jamerson, Steve Crawford, Duck Dunn. Names that remain earthbound as their music conquered the stars. Roger, this is a lot of fun seeing these people tonight. That guy played on Mr. Tambourine Man. His name is Hal Blaine. He's played on every record almost known to man, including Good Vibrations of the Beach Boys. We'll see all of them a little bit later. More tonight at 6 and 6.30. Stay with us. Jimmy, thank you. Boy, those are the guys that made the 